The Detroit Lions have hired Dave Phipp to be our special teams coordinator. Let's talk Lions. Thank you for liking, for commenting, and subscribing. I can't believe it, but we are well on our way to 2,000 subscribers. It's wild out here. It's like the wild thornberries. I went there. And I regret it immediately. So check it out. The Detroit Lions. Last night it comes out that we have hired Dave Phipp as our special teams coordinator. Obviously we let Braden Coombs go. Coombs went uh, AWOL, you could say. He went and made his own decision. It was like when Frodo decided to split off from the fellowship in the Fellowship of the Ring. And he decides to go ahead and do his own thing. Well, that's what happened. Braden Coombs made his own decision, made his own bed, mm, kind of said, screw everybody and everything. I'm going to do a fake punt attempt. Who knows what's going to happen to Coombs. But what we do know is that the Detroit Lions have hired Dave Phipp. So we have hired Phipp from the Philadelphia Eagles. It's kind of interesting. Now we have Staley coming from the Eagles. We got Phipp coming from the Eagles. Phipp has been with Philly since 2013 but before that FIP held a slew of positions for just a bunch of different colleges back from about 98 to 2007 and it was in 2008 that he broke into the NFL game FIP broke into the NFL in 08 with the San Francisco 49ers. He was an assistant special teams coach with the Niners. He ends up moving on in 2011. He actually works from 2011-2012 with Dan Campbell in, you guessed it, Miami. So this is where we see the crossover. This is where Campbell and Phipp actually worked with one another at one point. Phipp was the assistant special teams coach in Miami while Dan Campbell was working there. So that's where the two of them crossed paths. And it was then in 2013 that he moves on from Miami and he goes to Philadelphia. He has been with Philly since 2013. So from 2013 to 2020, he has been the special teams coordinator. And I'll tell you this, FIP has had some solid success in Philly. Since 2013, you look at FIP, his special teams unit was ranked second overall in the NFL when it came to the amount of special teams touchdowns. I think it was a total of 12. And they were also ranked second for the total amount of blocks, which was at 18. Also, since FIP arrived in Philadelphia, his special teams unit put up the fifth least most amount of penalties. So that's huge. All of this is not to mention the 2017 year that the Philadelphia Eagles won the Super Bowl. FIP has had a huge hand in developing players like Jake Elliott and Cameron Johnston. And seeing what he has been able to do in developing these guys, it is exciting knowing that we have Fox here. Fox had a tremendous season with the Detroit Lions. So what is a guy like FIP going to bring to him? Really, when you look at our special teams... Our special teams unit was the best of our three, of offense, defense, and special teams. That is where we found the most success this season. Obviously, Coombs is moving on. He has been let go. And so a guy like Phipp is going to come in. And I'm really excited to see how he's going to develop somebody like Jack Fox. Now, we all know that Matt Prater and Jamal Agnew will be free agents this year. So you're looking at your kicker and your punt returner. And so it will be interesting to see what FIP does. It'll be interesting to see what the coaching staff does as a whole. Will they keep guys like Agnew and Prater? I truly do hope that they keep Prater. I think Prater just had a bad season, but I don't think that reflects him as a whole as a declining kicker. I think really when you look at it and you look at his stats and what he was able to put up, you could check out a video I put out all about Matt Prater up here. Check that out. All in all, I believe in Matt Prater. I believe he's got at least another season or two left in him. And so I would hope that we sign him. But seeing as the amount of turnover is quite high at the moment, I would not doubt Matt Prater and Jamal Agnew being let go. Hope it's not the case, but we shall see. So that is the newest hiring for the Detroit Lions. How do you feel about FIP? 
I like him. I think he has a great track record of player development, of success, and so I'm looking forward to seeing what he will do here with an already good special teams unit. So you tell me, drop your thoughts in the comments. How do you feel about FIP? I look forward to reading it and discussing it with you. And as always, I'll catch you next time on Let's Talk Lions.